Hi guys, this is John from Mainline Overland, and today we're going to do a quick video on this Planner portable diesel heater. So this is a 12-volt uh, powered um, portable diesel-fired uh, heater. Um, this is a great option for people with rooftop tents, um, regular ground tents, people that do ice fishing, um, various, like uh, if you stay in your truck topper, if you've got like a four-wheel camper Project M or an AT product that you're looking to provide a quick and easy heating solution to, this is a great product for you. So it comes in this um, crush-proof, rain-resistant case here. So we're just going to open it up, take a look at the heater inside. So inside here, we have the heater itself. So this is the heater here. Um, it runs on diesel fuel. This is their 7000 BTU model. On the bottom here, we have our exhaust, which comes off to the side here. On the other side, we have our air intake with a silencer, which is located on the back side of the unit here. And then on this side here is the output duct where we connect the duct ducting to to run it into the uh, wherever we're looking to get heat into. So it's a fairly compact unit. It weighs just a tad over 25 pounds without any fuel in it. Um, inside the package will come with a wire harness here to connect it to a 12 volt power source. Another harness here to connect to the uh, thermostat controller here with it for temperature control. This 12 volt harness here is, has two eyelets on it ready to go on a 12 volt battery. If you have a portable battery solution, such as a Dometic PLB40 or a Goal Zero unit or one of those jackeries, you could easily adapt this to install a uh, cigarette plug on the end, a 12 volt plug, or a Anderson connector to be able to have quick connect features. This harness here connects to the thermostat right here to control the heat output. Both of those plug into the back side of the heater right here. We have our 12 volt power connection. This harness here will plug into it. And then right below it here is for this harness to plug into for the control. On the back here, we have the fuel tank. So this is a seven liter fuel tank. Uh, this heater burns approximately 0.03 gallons on low and 0.06 gallons per uh, hour on high. So you'll be able to use, consumption will be right around two liters for 24 hours. So pretty good capacity here. Uh, so those are just gonna plug right into the back there and allow you to control the heater. So this is a very efficient uh, heater, both on fuel consumption and power consumption. So this is a great unit for somebody who's, again, looking to heat like a rooftop tent, a ground tent, ice fishing, things like that. Be able to provide a quick, portable, um, non-permanent installed uh, heater. Diesel heaters produce a very dry heat, especially because it's pulling exterior air from the, from the unit, not the interior air that's inside um, your tent or whatever you're trying to heat. Um, one of the advantages over something like this versus like your standard uh, Mr. Buddy uh, catalytic style heater is that the condensation is kept to a minimum since the exhaust is vented out outside of where you are along with the intake air that's pulling in. It's going to result in very low condensation inside the tent or wherever you're using it. So this has a pretty good advantage over it. And also too, it's a lot safer since the heating unit, along with the exhaust gases and everything is located outside of where you are. So you don't have, to any, have any of those carbon monoxide or fire issues. So, all right, so let's go over turning this heater on. So we have it connected here to our 12 volt battery here. And then all we need to do is plug in some simple connections. The first thing we're gonna plug into is our thermostat heater control into the one end of the pigtail with the match plug. So we're gonna connect that just like that. Then we're gonna take the other end of the controller plug and plug it into the side of the unit here on this large plug here. Now these plugs are specific, so you cannot cross them or connect them improperly. They'll only go in one way and can only be installed into the correct plug. So we're just gonna pull this in here just until it clicks. So now the controller is connected. So the only thing we need to connect to now is our battery. I already have the eyelets connected to our 12 volt battery here. So all I need to do is take our plug here and plug it into this other plug, the power input on the side here. So simply same thing, just gonna pull until it clicks. So now we have power. So the first thing you'll notice is some LED lights blinking on the controller here. That's normal. Once the green lights stop blinking, the unit's ready for use. So it just takes a couple seconds to go through its setup procedure and then we can turn it on. This unit, I don't have any fuel in this unit here since we are using it inside, so we're just going to go through the fan functions of the unit and the, the, the ignition cycle, but we actually aren't going to be running it inside here. So I'm just going to give this a moment here to set up, so it stopped blinking here. So now 
we can turn the heater on. So this bottom button here with the little lines, wavy lines going up towards the top is our heat button. And then this is our fan button here. And then this is our uh, heat output control. So the hot air is actually gonna come out on this port of the unit here. There is a 10 foot uh, hose that attaches this so you can direct it wherever you want. I just don't have it here in the video so we don't have any space for it. So first things we're gonna turn on is just the blower motor to give you an idea of how the heater sounds. So we press this right here, green button, the green light's gonna come on and now we're gonna hear the unit turn on. So this is just blowing air out the output, it's unheated. So with the unit closed here, it's fairly quiet. So with the unit closed, it's, it's pretty quiet. It does have the air intake silencer on it, so you're not gonna get that kind of whooshing sound as it's pulling in air for the combustion process. The heater does not need to be open when it's uh, running. I'm just gonna open it just for display purposes. So that's pretty much what it sounds like, very quiet. So now we're gonna go through the heat process. So we're gonna shut this uh, blower fan off here. It's gonna blink and shut down. So now to turn on to the heating process. So we're gonna press this, uh, the lower left button here. The light will illuminate. So we're just gonna wait for it to go through its proving cycle. So it's ramping up now, and then it's gonna try to fire, but since we don't have any fuel in it, it's not gonna run. But it gives you an idea of the startup process of the unit. So if on the controller here, this bottom light blinks twice in orange, that's referring to the unprimed fuel system. Um, this heater is, uh, since there's no fuel in it, it will display that error code, but simply when you first start it up and first fuel, fill it up with fuel, it's um, probably gonna need to be primed. So you have to go through the starter process once or twice additionally to get that fuel into the combustion chamber. So to store the heater, it's very easy to pack it away. First thing we're gonna undo is undo our power connection right here, and then we'll undo the controller connection below it here. So those just pop out like that. Then we can take these, we can disconnect our thermostat controller here, and these will coil up. They do come with some nice uh, Velcro wire ties to be able to get them nice and tight again. And these simply just store inside the heater here. Uh, we do wanna make sure that the heater is cooled down before we install, uh, put these back inside here because the exhaust is here. Even though it is wrapped in a really nice um, heat resistant wrap, uh, we still wanna just wait for it to give it to cool down to the touch before we place the items inside. So then you just collapse it in here, close it up and it's ready to be moved to wherever you need it. So, like I said, this heater is a great option for people with uh, ground tents, rooftop tents, uh, ice fishing huts, off-grid cabins, really anywhere that you need a good, reliable, dry heat source that's not gonna consume a lot of fuel or power. So it's very portable, um, very robust case it's in, and really well designed with some good quality connections on it, good quality wire harnesses and a controller. So if you have any questions on this unit or like to order one for yourself, you can give us a call at 844-656-7626 or shoot us an email at sales at mainlineoverland.com.